Hey everybody, I'm Chris Stone. I am currently a senior hard surface artist at Riot Games working on Valorant. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at Blender production workflows. And in this case, the first one is going to be creating quick material callouts. The advantages of doing material callouts in a program like Blender is that you're going to be able to deliver materials that really hit the goal that you're trying to execute in the final model. A lot of times I see, especially with stylized games or um, even realistic games with a certain style, that the material callouts online don't always um, match what the final intent of the model is. That can cause a lot of pain um, going back and forth, especially if it's outsourced, going between outsource and then the internal feedback, outsource internal feedback, and you're just trying to get to that material that if you just had a better material callout, um, you could get to quicker. So this is going to try to bridge that gap. And hopefully, if there's any artists who aren't comfortable with 3D, this will be a very easy way to start using 3D to make material callouts. If we take a look inside Blender, again, I'm just going to be covering how to make these material callouts quickly and easily um, and how you can leverage them to create great reference um, for both your internal and exterior artists to go off of. We'll take a look at creating wear and tear, some complex materials, um, creating materials in Blender that you can use at edge masks, and then how this can all be built up uh, to create a library of materials that you can then um, use in the studio.